you know, it's easy to give tax cuts. Honestly, it's easy to raise spending. It's hard to get the budget deficit in order. Even on the health care bill, it's easier to expand coverage than it is to come down on costs. So on all those issues, it seems like we've had a very tough time. And if you look at the consequences, you're beginning to already see them. You're seeing rating agencies saying that America may not be able to keep its, its bond ratings for fear that the fiscal situation in America is going to deteriorate so sharply. Fried, I'd say, I'd say two, things, uh, two things about that. Uh, first, uh, in terms of tough things, the financial industry spends a million dollars per congressman. Four lobbyists for every member of Congress working to block regulation that will change things. And this president brought about the largest change in financial regulation in 50 years. That's not something uh, that was easy. Now, you you raised the the deficit. You raised the the deficit. The deficit is surely heavily defining of whatever we do in the economic area uh, going forward. The priority for the last two years was getting the economy growing. You know, if you look at it, that is the largest determinant of where our debt is going to be. If we have Japan-style stagnation, which looked like the likelihood 18 months or two years ago, there is no way, as the Japanese experience demonstrates, no matter what we do to tighten our belts, that we will get to a reasonable posture. The president made exactly the right decision to put first things first, and first thing was accelerating the growth of this economy. If we had attempted deficit reduction as the first, as the first step, the likelihood is that we would be looking at a much weaker economy, and as a consequence, ultimately, we'd be looking at much larger uh, debt problems. But the premise, your, your, your answers on this are premised on growth. So I've got to ask you, you really think we have turned the corner, and you are bullish on growth in America. What do you think the number, American uh, growth number will clock in at for 2011? Oh, I'm uh, close enough to being in, uh, to being in government uh, to know that, uh, as Harold Wilson once suggested, you should name a number or name a date, but never name both. Uh, but seriously, Fareed, I, I'd expect uh, growth to be uh, comfortably above 3% over the next uh, several years. But that's and I not, think we'll, that doesn't give and you I think much we'll job start, creation. And I think we'll start to see, uh, before long, uh, growth getting closer to four than to three. 